I'm back. It's been a while, probably like a year. So I am so sorry. Today I want to show you guys how I do my signature beach wave curls. I get a lot of questions on how to do these and it's so much easier than you think. I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to get these effortless waves without much effort at all. My hair kind of has a mind of its own. It's like straight on top, curly on the bottom, and just all over the place. That's why I try and curl my hair twice a week so that it looks a little more tame than I guess it usually does. Today I'm gonna use the Conair Travel Smart curling iron. I really like this curling iron because it's super cheap. I think it's around $20 or $25, maybe even less. I actually bought it right before I went on a study abroad to Europe and it didn't short out like all the other girls curling irons. So before you go to Europe or anything like that or even out of the country is something to definitely look into. This one gives me such good curls and it's so cheap. So that's why I prefer it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to section off my hair because even though I have pretty fine hair, there's a lot of it. I usually do three different sections and then I just secure it at the back of my head. I take the bath pack brush this is one of my favorite brushes because it's similar to a wet brush, but this is $5. I know, that is so crazy. It's all of my knots out. It works really well for wet hair or dry hair. I'm going to take a piece of hair about two inches thick and I'm going to hold my curling iron at a 45 degree angle with the clip on the top. And so I'm going to clip it closer to the top and twist it once, hold it, one, two, three, slide down and then roll up again. Hold it, one, two, three, slide down again, but leave the ends out, roll it back up, one, two, three, and then this is the part that you wanna pay attention. You're gonna twist around and then pull the bottom straight. Can you see that? That is what you want because I don't like to curl my bottoms and then it gives you the really good PC wave that you want. And you can go and switch different directions as you go around your head if you need more volume. I'm a person that does need volume but not that much volume, so I'm going to just curl them all away from my face. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to take about two inches of hair and then hold the curling iron at a 45 degree angle and curl away from the face. So you're gonna put the clamp up. Curl once, one, two, three. Slide down, curl up. One, two, three, and then you're gonna twist and pull the ends. So it matches the same on the other side. And if you happen to miss a piece and you forget to straighten the ends, all you need to do is drag your curling iron on the end and then it'll straighten it. Now that we have both of those sections done, we're gonna move on to the next one. So you're going to take out your hair and then section it off one more time. There's this section now. So we're going to do the same thing again, but I usually try and mix up the sizes that I take. So I'll take a big chunk like this and then I'll mix it up with maybe a smaller one just to give my hair a little bit more dimension. Now we're on to the last layer. So I'm going to pull that down. And so we can see if I need to pull up any more because I have a lot of hair. So what I usually do is I pull up the front pieces of my hair just to get them out of the way so I can put more work towards those because I want to make sure that I get as close to the root as possible to give me the volume that I want on the top. So I'm going to section off just the top layer about this far away and then I'm going to pin this up on both sides. It's not pretty, but it works. This layer is really important that whenever we put the curls in that we get as close to the root as possible. Like I said before, because it'll 
give us that volume that we need. Now on to the last layer. This one gets the most tangled because I usually put it up a couple times throughout this process. So I'm going to go through it with a brush so I get all the tangles out so I can get the prettiest curls because those are the ones that everyone sees the most, right? Now for this one, I like to work from the back to the front versus the front to the back because I want all of these curls to go away from the face, but if I start from the front, then it's easier for them all to get wrapped together and then you have to pull it apart. But this is the best way that I've been able to find to do it. And we're done, at least with that part. I wanted to show you guys a couple other products that I use to enhance my curls a little bit more and make them more defined so that they last throughout the rest of the day. I really like Batiste. I usually just separate each layer of hair and I spray through each layer on my roots so that it gets the most even distribution and it helps my roots get lifted and not have the grease weigh on my hair down. It helps to make it last longer throughout the week. I usually can wash my hair only once or twice a week, even in Florida. I know, humidity is sometimes the worst, especially when it comes to hair but this stuff really works. After I spray all the dry shampoo in my hair, I don't want it to look like I have dandruff, of course, so I need to get it distributed throughout my hair. So I use my hands kind of like a comb, and I go underneath and just shake. Look at the difference that made. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think it made a huge difference. But that was just on our roots. We need the rest of our hair. So I'm going to show you the Kristen S Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray. This is my favorite hair product I own. It helps to define my waves and creates a more enhanced curl so that each one you get that PC mermaid looking hair. Give your hair a little fluff and we're officially done. That is how I get my signature curls that I wear pretty much anytime you see me. It's my favorite way to curl my hair and it helps to get that look that your hairdresser does every time you go there, but from the comfort of your own home. And I'm really hoping to start posting more videos more than just once a year now. I have this video this week, another one coming next week, and hopefully all my other videos will come either the week after or the week after that. Let me know if you have any ideas of anything you would want to see here. Please leave those in the comments and I'm hoping to see you next time. Thanks for watching.